we call this method the fast one. So basically what you have here is a uh, conventional uh, access tube, but it's already sealed at the bottom with this grey uh, plug. If you have the pre-dug hole, uh, we have a stabilization tripod and we put that in and as you sort of uh, slice that down, the cutting edge takes away the overburden. Okay, I'd like to demonstrate the positioning of the tripod in a potato ridge and furrow situation. The next thing you do is you insert the pins and just hand start them a bit. And just gently hold them in. So we got the centralization ring here which keeps the extension of the auger centrally within the uh, tripod. The auger size we're using for most soil types is 54 millimeter, which is the yellow one here. But in extreme sandy soils, you might use a 47 millimeter auger just to keep the, the diameter of the hole a little bit narrower. Okay, let's start. Just gently you seat the poly guide or the centralization ring of spins, fill the auger. Dispose the soil. With a heavy soil type, you might use a bucket. And here, I just uh, go back in, centralize. Uh, when we auger, uh, we're digging a slightly uh, smaller hole. Okay. okay, the hole has been dug. Now we basically insert the uh, sealed access tube with a cutting edge at the bottom first, going in. The access tube has a cutting edge that's slightly larger. I'm using now a steel pipe that goes basically inside here. It takes away the overburden of soil and ensures a really good tight fit with the soil. So in a heavy texture clay we're using a drop hammer. It goes over the top and then... There's a little mark here on this pipe and basically when that mark aligns with the top of this thing, the access tube just pokes enough above the soil surface so we can glue the top cap. Change the direction to unscrew the pin. Okay, the pins are removed. Just carefully lift the tripod out. Okay, to glue on the top cap, we just run a silicone ring around it. Okay, run around twice. Okay, now we set the top cap on and we just make a slight turning movement and push down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to install the all-in-one which is basically a probe, a battery and a modem and for that one we screw on the extension bit on top of the top cap. We simply do our, you see that little, where that little magnet is, we, lay it, we align that with a little two lugs at the bottom there because that is the right positioning effect. And we just lower that now into the probe. Click. It's got an internal antenna, which is this little thing here. So it's powered up now. Just insert the top cap. Press it down and close it. That is the complete probe installed. The modem and the probe is powered up.